Abba, Father, your name, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, who you are. Mighty God, in this moment, I'm sending out a message towards your sons and daughters all around the world, especially. I would like to talk about how is the spiritual world different from this world. Mighty God, pour out the Holy Spirit. Father, let me tell only the truth towards your sons and daughters all around the world. Their name in the book of life in heaven, chosen one, elected one. Pour out the Holy Spirit. Let them see, let them listen, let them understand, let them distinguish, let them choose, let them be prepared themselves to be raptured. Mighty God, please cover with the precious blood of Yeshua. Father, in the name of Yeshua, I do pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Shalom, my name is Sonha. In this video, I would like to talk about how is the spiritual world different from this world? How is the spiritual world different from this world? Yeshua coming. Isaiah 55, 1-13 Oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come. Buy and eat, come. Buy wine and the milk without the honey without money and without cost. Why do you spend the money for what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good and delight yourself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me, listen, that you may live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you according to the faithful mercies shown to David. Behold, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and a commander for the peoples. Behold, you will call a nation you do not know, and a nation which knows you not will run to you. Because of the Lord your God, even the Holy One of Israel, so for He has glorified you. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord. And He will have compassion on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, it declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there without the watering the earth and the making it the bear and the sprout and the furnishing seeds to the sower and the bread to the eater. So will my word be which goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me empty without accomplishing so what I desire and without succeeding in the matter for which I spend it. For you will go out with joy and be led forth with peace, and the mountains and the hills will break forth into shots of joy before you. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands instead of the thorn bush, the cypress will come up. And instead of the nettle, the myrtle will come up, and it will be a memorial to the Lord for an everlasting sign which will not be cut up. Pray. Beloved Yahweh Abba Father, exhort your name and be praised and worshipped forever. I give a message to the sons and daughters of God about the spiritual world and this real world.
The Holy Spirit speaks directly, speaks only the truth, and always the sons and daughters of God, the chosen ones, and those whose name are written in the book of life to see, hear, read, and understand, and to judge and choose for themselves. Let them prepare. I pray in the holy name of Yeshua. Amen. This world is visible when we opened our eyes and looked at the world. There were mountains, fields, trees, birds, flowers, people, animals, stars in the universe, the sun, the moon, night and day. There is history, philosophy, science, and religion. There are spring, summer, autumn, and winter season. And according to these seasons, all plants, animals, and people, insects, all living things, sprout, flower, bear fruits, and the fruit falls off, promising the next day. Humans are born, go through baby, youth, youth age, middle age, old age, get sick, and then graduate for, from life. Not only this, but this world is made up of a very complex structure. Every moment of every day, water, fire, stone, and the many other elements that are not easy to describe. Chemically, this world is made up and is constantly being refined. In the midst of complex and complicated human relationships, we are all connected in a very complex way. Under the same sky, the same air, the same water, and the same soils, we are all connected. The real world and the spiritual world are also connected. They are not completely separate but connected. The spiritual world has nothing to do with time, space, yesterday, today, or tomorrow, and it is very different from what you experience in the real world. Language has nothing to do with it. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, time and space are all in one space, and there are no limits to beings that exist in it. It is a place that can fly, has no, ex- accept, has no concept of a day and night, and is beyond the time and space. My being living on this earth was created in the image of a creator in a very mysterious way, and we are each one who resembles the nature of God in the image of God according to the deep love, grace, and the purpose of the Creator Yahweh and Holy Spirit and Yeshua. Regardless of whether your eyes are being your, your eyes are big or small, your nose is high or low, and your face is handsome or ugly, you who are reading this right now are loved by God, the Creator, the most, and the one to love and to live together forever. So God directly makes them in His own image. It is a very mysterious, precious, and lovely existence designed with one's own personality. Creator Yahweh, the Holy Spirit Yeshua is the Creator who created all things, the universe, all the elements in this world. This spiritual world and this real world is the Lord of everything and is the real God. Everything made of stone, the wood, and the matters on this earth is like the kelp and the gold statue that the Israelites made through Aaron when Moses received the Ten Commandments from the Yahweh God on the Mount Sinai and brought them down. Those who want to be served behind the field are evil spirits. God's highest concern is human beings, and it is God's will that human souls complete, complete their homework and the spiritual training in this world, graduate from life in God's time and in God's way, and live, lo- live lo- love- lovingly forever in heaven. And the purpose and the salvation, and the purpose, and the purpose and the salvation of human souls is God's great, greatest concern. For that reason, Yahweh God himself became the Passover lamb. For that reason, Yeshua God himself became the Passover lamb. Yeshua God himself became the Passover lamb. 
shed all the water and blood on the cross, died, resurrected on the third day, and showed it as the first resurrection example. Yeshua will come to this earth directly from the event of the resurrection of those who are asleep first, the event of being raptured, the rapture, and the resurrection by God's forceful love, grace, and authority, and which in corruptible body on this earth is changed into an immortal spiritual body. The spiritual world and this real world are connected, and there is a visible world and in invisible world. To each person's God's creatures, God gave free will. Even trees can choose between good and evil, and we are all spiritual beings. Dogs and cats can choose between God, good and evil. In particular, human beings who were created in the image of God in a very mysterious way have a free will, and the spiritual beings also have a free will. The most important thing is a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. Saying that you love God but not knowing anything about God is not correct. If you love, believe in, and re revere God, you must learn about God by reading His Word. It's not something you learn simply by reading a textbook Bible. God is not a character in a novel. God is real and invisible, but right now, right in front of your eyes. God is not playing the throne wearing a very beautiful crown and gown in heaven. Even now, without sleep or the drowsiness, God continues to create, destroy, save, no. Not knowledge, experience, and continues to work yesterday, today, tomorrow, regardless of time and space. The language of God, the language of the Holy Spirit, and tongues exist all over the world, in the entire universe, under the sea, above the sea, in the sky, in flowers, in trees, and in you and I. God continues to work in the language of God and the language of the Holy Spirit, tongue. At this moment, I recommend that you treat everything, do your best, and everyone who has anything to do with you without spot, without the blameless, and without regret. I recommend that you do a lot of words, actions, and the prayers that make a lot of blessings in the midst of, the, of a very good one-on-one -on -one relationship with God, God will meet you directly. There are angels and evil spirits all around. In the space of this real world, the water, air, and soil are filled with very complex organisms. Everything is alive and is constantly being created, disappearing, moving, changing, and the following flowing at this very moment. This real world is not the end, and when you finish your homework in this real world, you will move to the spiritual world even when you move to the spiritual world as an invisible being. You know the spiritual world and the real world from this earth so that you have no problems with the beings you will meet in that world. I recommend that you have a good relationship and pray a lot in front of God. I recommend that today at this time where you are open your chest wide, open your arms and the hands wide to embrace the world, take a big breath and spend time communicating, praying with God. Conclusions The spiritual world and the real world are connected. The most important thing is to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God, Creator Yahweh Holy Spirit Yeshua. Breathe with God every moment and say, Hallelujah, only Yeshua.